Here we have the Rhino Slider Pro 2 foot and it's been designed for both horizontal and vertical mounting. If you're in the field and you don't want to use a tripod, it's easy just to extend the legs and to basically put it on its side. You can lean it up against anything you want and you can get your vertical slide. I have the slider pulley here, which works great for both the two and the four foot slider for vertical sliding. Here we have it set up basically on a lightweight set of sticks. We have the quick release plate of our ball head attached to the bottom of the center plate and it's basically tilted over at a 90 degree angle. Um, so this is probably the best way that we recommend to get a vertical shot with the Rhino slider. Um, so all you have to do is just pull up and down with the slider pulley. You can fill up this counterbalance bag with some ballast and it makes your shots a lot easier. Also, if you're out in the field and you don't have a ball or fluid head to vertically mount your slider from the center plate, you can actually mount it from the end plate just directly to your tripod. There's a 3-8 screw on the side. Um, and for the two-foot slider, it's more than steady enough to get a good vertical slide. So here we have the Rhino Slider Pro four-foot center mounted in a vertical position using our Manfrotto 502 fluid head. Now this is great when you're using heavier loads and you want to get a near vertical slide. With this current setup, it's not quite vertical because the carriage has to pass over the legs. Now we could mount this slider, the four-foot slider, on the end plate vertically like we did with the two-foot. The only difference is that we need to support it at the top with another tripod or light stand with either one of our ultra clamps or a magic arm to stabilize it. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys to give you some ideas of how to use your slider. Don't be afraid to get out in the field and to find out what works best for you. Now, if you have any questions about the particular gear that we used or anything at all, please email us at support at rhinocv.com. Thanks for watching.